35-year-old Panama City girl is being called a hero for saving her father's life. He lost consciousness while driving, so she got behind the wheel and drove him to the hospital. As News Channel 7's Bergen Bauckham tells us, the girl is taking all the attention in stride. It was a normal Monday for John and his nine-year-old daughter, Asteria Smith. Took my daughter to karate class and was in there. <clears throat> and uh, Rhett, as class was winding up, I just felt, stopped feeling a little weird. Not a headache per se, but not feeling myself. Asteria also noticed something was off. I start thinking to myself, well, what's wrong with him? He's not fussing and telling me how to do this and telling me how to do that. So then we had got to the car and he was mumbling when he told me we, where we were going. And so he was, he was walking really fast. I'm like, what was happening? What's happening? So we got in the car and he, then he started driving, but he was driving crazy. The situation took a turn for the worse. He told me that he couldn't see, and then he gave me his phone, but... He didn't tell me who I needed to call or if I needed to call the ambulance or what was, what did I need to do? But she quickly figured it out. I took over the wheel. Asteria took matters into her own hands right here at the busy intersection of 15th and MLK. She drove a good eight blocks before arriving at the emergency room right here at Bay Medical. He was fighting with me and I couldn't make the turns that I needed to do. And um, he was pressing his salary. I was behind him right here, reaching over at him, driving with one hand. And um, I had hit a curve, and um, we almost drove into the front of the ambulance. Nevertheless, they made it. By that time, John had lost his vision, motor skills, and memory just before losing consciousness. She was still a trooper. She was still by his bedside. Someone else probably would have, another child, panicked and continued to panic. She didn't. She gave me a report, told me what happened, gave the nursing staff health history that she did know. Doctors discovered a golf ball-sized stage 4 tumor on the left side of John's brain, affecting his speech, memory, and vision. You think you have them planned, and then they just change, and you realize what's, uh, what's not as important as you thought it was, what was important, you know, things that you took for granted. You know, don't take it granted. God's in control. So, I just took it at here's a journey. So we're on a journey. We're on a journey. It's a good journey. It's a good journey. God doesn't set us up for failure. Though the Smiths say God's in control, they're thankful he let Asteria take the wheel. Bergen Balkum, News Channel 7. An outstanding little girl. The Smiths are traveling to UAB tomorrow to begin John's treatment.